So Ruben, uh, did you hear? So today we are going to discuss about uh, Git and how we can use it uh, in our development side and how to use it. Basically, make it a habit uh, to use Git in a, even if our if if we do any local development, even if we are not working on any company or we just want to how to use how to include this in our local projects. So that's my basic idea behind Git and how it works. Uh, and that also I will explain in this video. So we have to just dig a deep dive into Git. In this video and i'll explain how things work inside of okay so let's start with that so what is git so okay so git is a revision control system okay so you must have heard about this rcs uh, how rcs is like it's very famous terminology in uh, this Git side uh, development if you have not that's not an issue i'm just gonna give a brief revision control system okay so what is revision control system so there are many tools before git which are very famous i'm just gonna name them here some of them uh rcs okay and then there is a svn then there is a uh, git and uh, many people use git lab and there is a uh, garrett okay garrett so these are the famous tools uh, generally people use uh, or might have used in the previous element from past uh, uh, 10 to 15 years so very famously uh, and there is one very 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 famous perforce okay so perforce svn uh, and RCS at some level, but Perforce and uh, this SVN are mostly used, mostly used before Git. Okay, before Git, they are mostly used tools, and still many companies, or uh, I mean, generally it is used in corporate, and many people are like generally using, still using because they, their previous code is in Perforce or SVN, so they are uh, afraid, or there is a lot of uh, like work is uh, needed to move it to the new revision control system so what they are doing is they're just uh, trying to whatever the build new thing they are building so they're trying to build it in git or any other uh, git lab or garrett which are very famous uh, so git or GitLab is mostly used nowadays and garrett is used because it's open source GitLab is a, a paid thing and at some extent uh, this is free tool but uh, it is eventually is paid and so garrett is open source and it gives uh, some level of uh, similarity between uh, GitLab. So the mostly people use Garrett as an open source and Git is open source too. Yeah. But Git is so GitLab Garrett are just a wrapper over Git. Git is a, just a normal CLI based tool, right? So these are basically graphical interfaces in generally GitLab and Garrett they generally use. So uh, as we already uh, have familiarity of, so these are the basic tools we generally use Git and GitLab. So how to we are going to discuss in this tutorial uh, Git. So because this GitLab and Garrett are just a wrapper over the Git. We're gonna just see what is Git and how to use so Git. As I've already explained, revision control system. So uh, let me explain uh, one of the basic uh, revision control system which came in early days. So this is uh, called RCS. So RCS is uh, just a, for example, if we have some file, uh, let's just say hello.c. Okay. If I want to use RCS uh, revision control system of this file, so what you have to do? There are two commands which are use in RCS, which is called check in, check out. Okay, when you check in and provide this uh, input hello.c file to this uh, revision control system, so what it will do, it will give output of uh, hello.c, v. Okay, so comma v is just a revision con uh, file of this uh, uh, hello.c, so this is saved. Okay, and when you do checkout and you provide this hello.c, uh, v, it will provide hello.c. Okay, so like this. Uh, what is this re re revision control? Okay, what is this revision? So revision is nothing but uh, why we need this uh, Git or any revision control system. The reason is, for example, the, there is one uh, file hello.c, same file. Okay, and I uh, want to change this to file. Okay, change something in this file. So how can we track it? How can we uh, revert the changes? So we want control over this file. Okay, so this file is accessible by multiple users or even by you. So you write some 10 lines of code in hello.c and you just try to run it okay then uh, someone told you to change something in this and you want to uh, add new functionality to, the, to this file and what you did so you added new functionality and wrote another 10 lines for new functionality so but after those 10 lines the code did not work okay so you change in between these lines also and some of new lines also you added and code is not working now what so you have to uh, so what you want to do you want to come to this stage 10 lines the one way is okay you you wrote the code you remember how to get, come to that line you can easily write new code or you can change this line and remove the uh, changes to come to this line okay so these are the things two things you can do but that is very uh, not efficient way because you are manually changing things and manually trying to uh, get back to the previous code so these tools come what they do so we check in this file 
like this in hello.c we made this revision control and then add those 10 lines and if you're not happy with these, those 10 lines you can simply check out from this hello.c right so this is how you can come to the previous stage even if you are not happy with the new changes or the other way is on the same file you provide to your col colleague or any other developer uh, to change it and then eventually you do, you do some changes of one functionality in the file then your colleague will also make new functionality in the same file then eventually you can merge this right so both the uh, both the same code you can provide to multiple people and then eventually take their code so that's how the, these big companies or any other projects are generally managed by this revision control system so this is the basic rcs which, which was used in early 90s so now is git is very popular the reason is because in rcs we are saving the file it is we, we are saving every file but in git they are using some advanced uh, algorithms to not save the whole file just to take mapping of the difference just to take the difference so what they do they basically take the patch patch is nothing but they take the difference of hello.c and your new changes and they make a commit they make a identifier how to identify to reach to that field so there is a we will see all this uh, in action now uh, so let's just let me just uh, open uh, basic uh, uh, git so let me just uh, so how to uh, start with git so git is this uh, git binary and git cli tool we generally use so it has a lot of things as you can see here these are the basic commands which we uh, encounter in git so we're going to see this all in uh, detail i mean most frequently are being used which are being used we'll see it here okay as you can see so this is git and these are the we can check version we can check the help with hyphen hyphen help and like that okay so the, what is the first way to uh, start with git is uh, we can just uh, make one directory project one okay let's go to the project and here we can just initialize it git init okay as you can see it says initialize empty directory in this own path and dot git directory is created if you uh, do uh, ls hyphen la and you will be able to see this git directory okay so if you're what if you're wondering what is inside this git directory let's just see that okay so it maintains these hooks uh, so called hooks and all these sample files so tags how to actually uh, track all the information how to maintain all the info so this is just uh, used by uh, git tool okay so if you see nothing is there but this is a hidden directory okay Read dot git. now if i want to see uh hello dot uh, as like mostly people use python so let me just uh, give demonstration so in python so let me just write okay so this is a two uh, python code uh i just i'm gonna run it as you can see hello world is getting printed okay so now if uh, there is uh, as we have initialized this directory as a git so we made it as a git repo so this is called a repository when we get do git in it so this is called a git repo repository okay and if you see there is one file now and i want git to track this file okay if track to uh, to see git information we have to run git status okay so it will tell few details like on branch master no commit yet so i will explain what is branches and all so this is the file you see this is untracked file so it, it is saying we, we are, it is not tracking this okay now let's just uh, add it so even if the help command is also helpful so it is saying use this command git add hello.py okay now if you run git status it is showing changes to be committed so every uh, every changes which we are uh, uh, doing actually which we are making uh, we want to track it so we have to commit it first with a message okay so we use git commit hyphen m uh, okay let me say hello dot py committed okay now if i do git status it will not uh, say anything nothing to commit because we have just cleared it right and if i do this it's just a normal file we don't see any comma v or any file like that okay so how to see what are the uh, changes we did so we did just edit this file and how to see our commit git log git log will tell how many commits we made into this file. so this is the commit idea i was talking about git tracks uh, before uh, regarding this so uh, this is the hello.py okay now open this hello.py okay and uh, let's just uh, add one more print here uh, how are you okay now you do git status now git will say something is modified because it was tracking earlier our changes now it is uh, saying something is modified now so how to see what is modified you can use this command git diff okay so if you just do git diff without any file name so it will uh, show difference of all the files in the current uh, repository current repository or current directory we can say so uh, if you don't if you, you can also provide a particular file name also like that 
and what is showing plus plus is identified uh, to see if anything is being added new in this file which so this uh, it was saying like earlier it was committed with this change now below to that hello world line we are added sir how are you right so uh, i can also delete something also right i can simply delete hello okay now if i just do give a hello it will saying you have deleted this and added this instead okay minus is for deletion okay so now you can uh, put this into tracking git add again git commit uh, modify it hello dot py now do git log we'll see this difference okay so now there is a few things we can do uh, one is like if you want to see what are the things are being changed in this so one way is you can just uh, uh, basically take this uh, commit id and do git log hyphen p and put this commit id it will show all the difference from that commit id to the main. okay so if you see here from the that commit uh, we have removed this and added this in the previous commit difference also we have added just a new file so everything is plus plus there right we just created a new file there if you want to just see the difference because it is showing the diff of all the commits and as i have mentioned earlier this commit id is nothing but takes a store of difference so that's why, that's why you're able to see diff everywhere okay if you want to see just the diff of uh, two commits you can just uh, use git diff uh, and uh, control c control v and uh, below like that if you see it will only tell what was being modified after this commit to this commit so we have just deleted one line read one line why we are putting uh, 17c this below commit id first the reason being because this was created first and then this was uh, created on top of that so we have to mention from where we are starting from where we want to show the data. you can mention the reverse also but that will give the wrong answer uh, wrong uh, which we are not expecting okay so this is the basic basic commands every uh, engineer should be familiar about how to use it how what is happening here okay now let's see a uh, mechanism of branch so here you can see i am on the master branch what is the branch let's uh, just uh, let me just give a uh, little bit little bit of overview of what is a branch here okay so what is branch so uh, for example uh, you are working here this is your project uh, p1 i am mentioning and uh, you are basically on master branch there is some predefined code which is already in the project so we are on master code okay so now there are uh, for example two people in your uh, team and they all want to work on the same projects okay so what is the one way you can give this directory to them and they will do the changes okay that way i mean, I mean you can uh, they can make the changes but eventually have both have to uh, deliver for example a project a revision of uh, p5 okay so this is one at one level we have to deliver at five level okay so now what uh, the one way is like you can take the both the directories and the both can work right parallelly but when you actually want to merge both of our changes that will be uh difficult to merge right so what we work on we basically work on branches okay so from this code two people like uh, i'm just gonna name d r n uh so two people take the two branches here okay they start working on it okay so they make their own changes here so they have their separate branches so these are the branch uh, checked out from a top branch okay so uh, uh, and for example you are done here and uh, you are you just want to uh, continue on your own or you can just both merge into one code like that and uh, p3 let's say you both merged your code and uh, you both came into p3 and both of your changes from p2 from d's and n's both are into this p3 branch and again you started working on left separate separate branch okay then from p3 you checked out another branch and then you can uh, start working on p4 and then p4 here as well then you merged all the changes into p5 okay and then this p5 will be eventually merged to master which is our p1 stage but the master uh, branch will be uh, have all the changes from this uh, both the persons from all the branches right so this is how development generally works so in that way but you, you are not dependent on anyone's functionality right so uh, if p3 uh, p2 p person wants to work uh, on other other implementation it requires the previous code so it can just uh, take a branch from that take a branch take a just a part of that information and start working on that you don't have to dependent on d right you don't have to be waiting for d to do the development you can easily do development parallelly and then you both can merge the code 
so there is no harm right in merging uh, if you have modified the same uh, path and same lines so there will be conflicts but that will be easily resolved so this is how development cycle looks like so they all the people start working parallelly and do their uh, work uh, efficiently without wasting any time and without uh, having any dependency on other people this is how branch concept looks like so uh, i'm just gonna show one branch thing here okay so we have uh, this file in branch here hello.py let's just uh, uh, branch so let's just check out so we have to check out one branch from where we are checking out master on which branch we are uh let's name it as a test now check out okay it automatically switch to the new branch if i see git branch now it will tell i am on currently test branch so how to move to the new other branch master now we are into master if you see git branch now i'm into master okay if i put uh, uh, hyphen b then it will create the new branch okay what is branch so branch is just a part of that hello.py is also there if you see the git log in this branch also i am currently into test branch but i can see all the changes in here also because i took part from where uh, master was right so now let's just uh, see uh, git hello now create one more file here hello 2.py okay in that uh, let's just uh, i there Okay, let's just, just do the same thing. Edit uh, hello to dot py. Now I can see git log. Okay. Now if I if you see now I'm at uh, there is one few things I have mentioned here head. So always the top of the branch because this is a layer mechanism, right? The first we mentioned this branch, then we then we added this branch, then we added this branch. So this is just a layer mechanism. So now the head is pointing to this top branch, right? Now if I see git branch. I am at test branch. If I do ls, I have two files here. Now, if I do git checkout master, okay, git branch, I'm at master, but I will have only one file here. Hello, I don't have hello to y because that was another branch. And if I even if I see logs, I can only see two commits which are hello to regarding, right, which are not at this branch, they are at the uh, other branch, uh, git branch here, okay. So this is how things work. Like we, uh, we can work on different different branches and can have different different files. Uh, give check out as now. If you see here, ls there are two files. Okay. So this is how mechanism work, and we can also uh, work on different different parallel things on these branches. Okay. And same like if I made any changes in this file, you will be able to uh, uh, you will be able to recognize it. Okay. If I print, uh, I just now if i just to git diff here git first to get status if i do git diff it will tell me i have added new file a uh, new line in the existing file error to, to even okay okay so there are three things uh, we are able to see now you see this as a modified change is not staged for commit okay and if i do git add currently now it will show different messages changes to be committed okay so what is this commit and all these things let me just uh, quickly tell how these things work so how uh, git uh, commit cycle okay git commit cycle how it works so whenever we want to commit something right we have uh, three uh, things we just need to remember that this is the flow how they are being committed this is called as a untread this is called as a staged this is called as a uh, final commit final changes or final destination okay so untracked whenever we create new file initially git won't be tracking that okay so that goes into untracked file like i have uh, shown here let me quickly show if i just uh, search hello hello dot hello three dot py now if i do git status it is in untracked section untracked section okay okay now if i make any changes uh, if i add this file into git okay if i add this uh, by git add then it will go to the staged mode so now it is in the staged mode okay it is not actually into the git tracking medium it is just in the staged mode okay so this is called a staged mode in between there are uh, there is one level which is called staged okay every file once it is tracked it goes to the staged mode 
and even if it is tracked like if, if there is any existing file hello.py like we have seen if i make any changes to that file it will still go to the staged mode so that we can cross check everything there okay then if you do git commit we are actually committing those uh, changes or new files into the actual git repository uh, so that will go via git commit so from stage it will go git commit then the git will be eventually tracking this okay so if i do git add now you see there are two things one is modified file and one is new file so these thing, things are staged mode this is called staged and this is the command we can use restore stage file to unstage it to get it out from our stage right so there will be uh, committing so the best practice uh, is uh, to have a better uh, git commit message so that if if there are multiple people working on the same project so they will be able to understand uh, what you're talking about what these changes are about right now if you see git status you will not see any changes if you see git log they are committed so credit sample file right so they are being tracked by git now so they are part of git repository so this is how git generally tracks based on these three mediums untracked staged and final commit okay so this is a basic idea i wanted to explain about revision control system what is it how we can use it and how it generally works on the uh, our development cycle and how what is the git commit cycle like untracked stage and final commit okay so this is how we can generally use and now i will uh, in the next video i will explain how to use uh, git uh, like from github and how we can uh, use efficiently github and uh, how we can uh, map our uh, basically how we can build code local and commit and how we can push those changes into the Git, uh, github okay so i will explain the all these things in the next video uh, thanks for watching